Good morning, guys. We are back home, back from the Florida Keys. This is our first trip out since we have been home going deep sea fishing on our 23 foot center console today. Really excited. We also got some of Brian, AKA Pudding's friends coming with us. Should be a blast and it's already super hot and the sun is totally up, we're so late. Up. All right, cool. All right, we're hooked up on the first fish. We're gonna see what happens. Pretty excited. We basically have been trolling around in this particular area, marking a ton of fish on the depth finder, and we just hooked up on one of our down rods. So we're gonna see what happens. We're slow trolling. We might get a double hookup right now, but there's gonna be a weight coming up that I'm gonna need to take off, and then hopefully we'll get this fish to the boat. Oh, I got my friend from home, Mark from high school. What's up? And our buddy Nick. Other one's on. Fish on, fish on. Leave it, the fish. Take it, Mark. I didn't grab this one, you grab this fish. Got a double hookup. Too much action, too much action. Reel that, Kurt. You gotta reel that, Mark. Head gaff. Yeah, baby. All right, nice king mackerel. Just landed. You can open up, actually, that pail real quick. Yeah. How you doing, Mark? Good. What do you got there? Something. <laughs> it's not a shoe. <laughs> All right, guys. Solid king mackerel in the boat, also known as kingfish for no. So we're going to see what else we can catch this morning, but we already got a second fish on. Good thing that we found the fish. I'm happy. Nice job. Nice job. Working his way around the rods over here. Pretty cool. So we just got a hit on a live gog. Solid, like 15-pound king. Looks like we got another king. Really? I think so. Yeah. Run. Yep, we're in the king mess down. We're in the kings down here, really shallow on the reef. Not a good, not a bad thing. Those are nice smoker fish. Let's see what else we can get. That little gap is right there, Brian. A little pricker. What's the gloves? Pricker's right here. Here's right the fish. Right here. Dive in and get it, Brian. You don't need, the, you don't need the gloves now. It's too late. Where's the pricker? The fish is right here. Waterboard. Right All right, so. Nice job. Could have gaffed him if you had the fish. Get him, Mark. Come on, Mark. You got this, Kingfish. He's on mono, so he could pop off at any second. That's true. He's not popping off. Woo! That's a solid one, too. A little smaller. Open the bail, bro. <laughs> nice. Nice one. All right, go. guys, we got to go find the black fins now. <laughs> nice job. There we go. Wait, I want to pitch with the fish. Can I grab him in here? Yeah, yeah. you're going to have to grab really tight. Let me just I'm gonna cut it. Oh, oh. You can cut it later. There we go. Nice. Way to go, guys. See you in the world. Woo! Woo! Nice job on those fish, Seinfeld. Thank you so much. <laughs> Darcy actually put us on the fish, so thanks to her. I couldn't have done it without you. I <laughs> no, you, have done it without you definitely you. would not have. <laughs> Do you have any nice to say about me in high school to my fans and. YouTube land? Nice to say to you about, yeah. about high Something school. Something they might not know. Nothing nice to say is nothing wrong. I don't know, we'll have to do another take. Oh, thanks, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. But we caught those kingfish, thanks to our sizzle. She's right back here. And uh, but I did want to mention you have a new sponsor, Fish Angler app. We'll put a link down below. But uh, we checked I checked the, the app and the forecast there is a minor right now. So we moved out to try and catch some blackfin tuna. So Darcy. We'd love to catch a big blackfin tuna they've been around, and so uh, using that new tool, and uh, we'll see how it goes here. What do you think, Sizzle? She's thumbs up, she's hardcore. We are now drifting. We've decided to set up a little bit of a different drift instead of power drifting. The current's ripping today out here, so we are anchored out, well, we're drifting out deep. I am sending out a flat line right now. We got a big old pilchard. Gonna send them out. Hopefully looking for those black fins, like Pudding said earlier. We already got a line down deep, so we're kind of just gonna stagger our baits, but we're gonna have a couple on the surface, a couple down at different depths throughout the water column down below. And we were marking, we were marking schools of fish on our low ran step finder. So hopefully we will come across them too on this drift. And we also, we're very close to a rip um, in the water, which is also good. And it's probably collecting bait. And when there's, where there's bait, there's predators. 
So we're gonna send out these baits, cross our fingers for more fish. See there. You want some? You. No. You want me to find a fish today? Yeah. All right. I feel bad. All right, here we go. Hooked up. Finally hooked up on our drift, and we are just kind of working our way in on this current drift in this situation. So we're now over the reef. No tuna bites for us. And this was one of my pilchards down deep. Just got smashed. We're gonna see what it is, but it's taking a pretty good run. Giant fish on that. Big nice. blue runner. Nice blue runner. Bait. Kingfish bait. Perfect for the perfect for the wreck. He actually Circle the hook right in the corner. He actually ate the pilchard. Those things eat those. Look up, Look up. Got another fish on. We got guests on the boat today. I catch a lot of fish, so I'm gonna hand off the rod now. Let somebody else catch it. There you yeah. go. Nose on the rod. And we're gonna see what happens, but I just sent down another bait after we caught that blue runner for bait, which is great. Um, but we just hooked up again on a beautiful pilcher. So we're gonna see what it is. Wait's coming up here in a second. He's getting some line. Let's see. Holy crap, it's a mutton snapper. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> mutton. That is uh, probably not going to be a keeper, but that's pretty cool to catch a mutton snapper in shallow water like that, and he's all blown up. But I have a uh, device today to send him back down to the deep. They got to be 18 inches long with the new regulations. He's probably going to be just under, unfortunately. But this is a beautiful eating fish right there. He almost got you guys dinner. Circle hook was perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Five odd mustad circle hook in line what we like to use. Let's get a quick measure on them on the sea deck ruler. And then we're gonna send this bad boy home. Oh, no way. What? Keeper. What? We just got a keeper? I was actually, Lunchtime. I guess um, due to all the fish I've been catching in the Keys and how much bigger they are, I'm just used to uh, bigger fish, I guess, these days. But he just got dinner. Noel, nice job, that's a keeper. Yeah. He's staying on the boat, baby. Yeah. That's what you want. Nice. Heck yeah. Got rip and current out here today, and as the day goes by, we're getting more gorgeous conditions. It's just getting flat, calm, no wind, which the wind is actually good for like air conditioning, but we are just got to the, a local wreck, also known as the Sky Cliff, right here off the Boynton Inlet, and we finally hooked a fish after struggling with the ripping current and losing a couple rigs. But We've been trying everything to catch a fish. It's coming up now on our bent butt, my custom Barrett rod. And uh, we got a live goggle eye down there on a big old eight-aught mustad circle hook with a lot of weight. Gained back a lot of line now, so it's coming up. But we don't have it yet. Haven't landed it yet. Might be a big old amberjack. Who the heck knows, but there's lots of stuff. Lots of species on Rex. Oh, here it is. Hang on. Oh baby, look at that! Here goes the bait. Amberjack in the boat, guys! They're on the wrecks this time of the year. That's definitely a nice one. Believe it or not, they get much, much bigger. They get 80, 100 pounds. That's what you call a reef donkey. That's a nice size fish, but he wouldn't be considered a reef donkey. That needs to be a little bigger. But put up a heck of a fight. And you do, you have a size limit on these guys. I actually don't know what it is, but this guy's a keeper. So solid fish and uh, nice to end the day. Nice to get on a wreck and actually catch another species, which is totally awesome. So let's get him off this. All right, guys, back at the house. We had another great day of fishing with Darcizzle and my buddies from home, Mark and Noel. It's always a great day on the water. And when you catch fish, it's just icing on the cake. But I wanted to let you guys know the final fish we ended up catching was not an amberjack, it was an almaco jack, and I misidentified it. And they're very similar to each other because they're in the same jack family, but the main difference is the, Am the almaco jack has a very pointy and higher dorsal fin compared to the amberjack, and also the body shape is much wider, the big this bigger profile compared to the amberjack. And there are no established size limits on almaco, so you can keep those bad boys any size, but of course the bigger ones have higher levels of mercury and more than likely they'll have more worms as well. So uh, watch out for those Amacos, but they're also, they are delicious and we eat them all the time. 
Uh, don't forget to check out Darcy's handmade bracelets. Yes. She makes them all by herself. She ties them while we watch TV. And those are on the website. I'll put a thing down here. And uh, until next time. Follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.